And so today I'm just gonna let you guys know my video schedule because a lot of you have been asking me when will you post another video and I was like, you know what, I actually haven't, you know, I didn't tell you guys um, my video schedule at all. So this is my video schedule. I will post videos on Tuesday. Thursday and on Sunday. Now on the Tuesday and on a Thursday schedule, I will be posting um, from hair videos, DIYs, reviews, and all of the videos that I'm usually posting, except for Sunday. Now Sunday, I will actually call Sunday Munchies. I will call the whole theme of Sunday, Sunday Munchies to where I will actually put out cooking videos, baking videos, and all of the food related stuff um, on a Sunday so just in case if you guys you know are expecting to see hair videos on Sunday and you'd be like I'm expecting to see hair why am I seeing food so if you don't like um, food videos then just wait for Tuesday and Thursday because those are the times where I would be actually posting hair videos and DIYs how to's etc and I know that I'm pretty much aware that some of you you know, we all live in different um, countries, so I'm from the Philippines, so to some of you, I'm probably 13 hours ahead. Probably on a Tuesday, it will be still a Monday for you. And this would also be a great thing because, you know, I know that um, sometimes a lot of you have messaging me that you're not really getting my videos on your subscription boxes sometimes. So it's such a great thing to just, you know, you would know that on Tuesday, you would just come to my channel, go to my recent upload videos, and you'll see my latest videos. So that way, it's gonna be way easier rather than, you know, waiting for my videos to be, to pop out on your subscription boxes. And I've even heard some of the YouTubers, that is their issue as well, their videos are not being broadcast to some of their subscribers. So that's that! Now that I've cleared that out, now let's go to the second point. Now, I've been really meaning to um, cut my hair, not cut it short, but actually get some layers. I really wanted layers just because my hair is in one length and it's a lot. I do like my hairstyle right now, it's just that I want a little bit of volume. And now second, I really wanted to dye my hair red. Now I don't want to dye my hair hair like a McDonald's or kind of like an aerial red because I don't think that that would suit my skin tone. My desired hair color is actually, I want a brown to reddish tone kind of hair. Because I don't, because if you have been watching me since I think 2012 or 2011, you would definitely know that way back then my hair has red and brown undertones to it. So I'm gonna flash a video right here. So that's what my hair looks like before. And um, as you can see, my hair definitely has red tones to it. And I have been really, really liking that kind of um, hair color on me. And at that time, I actually dyed my hair using um, a hair color treatment. So it's actually a temporary hair dye slash a hair color treatment. And when I was using that, my hair was like really soft. At the same time, it gave me, you know, the shade that I want. But the thing is, it's not permanent. So it only lasted for how many months and then my hair was back to my natural hair color. I really wanted my hair to be like in that shade, but I want it to be a little bit permanent, you know, for long term. And also, I would really like some shade to my hair because, you know, just for a new change, it's 2000. Ah! Okay, it's 2014. <laughs> it was it, now it's 2014, and I just really want you know some change in my hair. And also, if I do hair tutorials in my hair, you would definitely see it better because my hair would be lighter. I really now my main concern is I really couldn't find a hairdresser that I can trust right now because yes, I have trust issues with hairdressers. Sorry, not all hairdressers are bad, okay? And if, because with me, um. I have several, you know, times where I just really wanted this particular haircut. I showed them the picture, but they just ended up doing whatever it is that they want to do with my hair. So they weren't listening. That's the thing. That they just don't listen, and they just chop off your hair just the way they want it. I'm still on a hunt for um, a good hairdresser because right now I couldn't find one in my area, and if I do. So yeah, that's just an update to let you guys know already because that's in my thought right now. So, and the second one also, I couldn't find a salon who actually are willing to dye my hair length just because that they said um, I should cut my hair so that they can dye my hair. And I was like, oh my gosh, no! Um, 
Um, I do know the state and the health of my hair and I'm pretty sure that it can survive the hair dye and also I've prepared a hair care routine already in mind for you know when I dye my hair because as I've said in my tips if you're ever gonna dye your hair make sure that you have a good hair care routine that would you know back your hair up. I would definitely know how to take care of my hair once that happens. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys know up ahead and let me know what you think in the comments down below or what kind of shade would you recommend. I'm not planning to go on really, really light. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are having a great day. So stay tuned on Thursday for a next upload. Also, please follow me on Twitter, on Facebook or on Instagram if you want an update from me. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna be in those places, especially on Facebook. So I will see you all on my next video on Thursday. Bye!